Okay, okay. I have nothing on, clearly. I'm going to start off with my Stella One Step Primer. <clears throat> and then we'll see what happens. This is like my favorite primer because it really goes everywhere and it's like tacky and like it's moisturizing at the same time. And it was on sale, so it's cute. Guess what I got in the mail? It's cute. I got <gasps> the Huda Beauty first, I think. Just a I just have a small part. I already know this is not my color. Because oh, maybe it is. Who do you see that? It's a very thick, creamy consistency. Which I like, because I feel like it's more full coverage. Like, it's really gonna, like, get stuck to your face. Now I'm gonna try, like, because my eyes are pink right here. I had pink eyeshadow. Pink eyeshadow, like, never goes away in, like, a couple of days. I'm gonna just take a tiny bit and see what that does. Because usually I put on concealer, and even then you can see some pink. Oh, okay, okay. Huda ain't playing around. You can still see, see a little pink, but like, not as much as like, this side. Girl, I got a mustache. Now I'm just going to go in the rest with a simple brush that is not clean but you know what judge me a little goes a long way like i don't know if it's like her consistency she has going on or what but i'm loving it i'm loving it da -da -da. I like scented things then this probably isn't the foundation for you because it it really is strong like i put it on my hand last night and i wash it off and i'm like i still smell it the tiniest dab is i have a nars and two tarts one's light and then one's like medium but i never know which one to use so i use most of the time all of them at the same time it's like empty look at this you see that Today, I'm feeling the extra in my face, not so much the eyeshadow today, but let's just see what happens. Meow. I look like a kitty. Sometimes, like, I'll put foundation, especially right here. It'll get cakey, like just like between my eyebrows, because like it accumulates right here. Like I'll push everything, I think. I think it's just the, the way I be doing stuff. I'm going to go on with my NARS concealer in the color Custard Medium 1. I ordered another one of these, but I haven't opened it yet. I just feel the full coverage in the face today, okay? Usually, especially with this one, because it matches my skin tone so much, and it's not so much of a highlight concealer. I like to put it right here, my pores show the most right here, and then just a little bit more under here, and on my blemishes, because this is a thick creamy concealer, Not, I mean, the tight one's good too, but like, it's thin, like it's a thin consistency compared to the NARS, which is why my NARS is like the best for me. I'm gonna contour with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm just gonna draw a chocolate moon on my forehead. One thing I learned about cream contour 
is like to not go directly with a beauty blender because then it'll get splotchy and i always contour one thing at a time so first my forehead then my cheeks and my nose because it will dry and then i'll be so much harder to blend out that is the one thing i noticed so i'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush and just smooth and blend it all out and then we can go in with a beauty blender because cream contour was not my thing like before i did not know what i was doing but now i think i'm okay i always start here and then go down because you don't want it to be harsh right here you want to just I go like this with my nose, like, you see that? So when I contour, I just, because you can see more definition when you go like that. I'm just going to start out like that. And then some right there. A little goes a long way on a nose contour. And just blend that out with a brush first. So I just like, oh my goodness. <gasps> and then I'm gonna go in with my other gross beauty blender because this is my baking one. And it is a damp beauty blender. So I just go in like that. Tap, tap. Because I'm pretty sure I will do a eyeshadow look, but. Nothing too dramatic, I just want a base on there, at least. Too Faced Chocolate. <laughs> Ta-da. Just gonna go in with my e.l.f. brush and wipe away that baking powder going in with cover F just the slightest shimmer Then I'm going to go in with Anastasia. I, I, I feel like looking like a greasy donut. For my nose and tear duct, I'd like to take a smaller brush. And that is it for my face. We're gonna move on to the eyes. Okay, this is my neutral glam. I'm starting out with this Morphe color. These are the colors in Peanut. And then you're gonna go in with this color. And this is in the color Private Agent in Morphe. Going in with the Stella one in Black Cat. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Y15 brush and we're just gonna go in with that peanut color. M514 brush. And Then I'm going to go in with a clean Morphe brush. There is no number because I got it in a pack. So I'm just going to lightly blend that all together. I'm going to go in with a NYX glitter primer. About that much. Okay, and then going in with my MAC pigment. This is in the color Tan. 
dip my brush in here. Then I'm going to take a mini elf brush and just go in with black. Kind of like a shimmery black. Go at the edge right here. I'm just going to go in with that same blending brush and blend this part out right here. Use my Morphe lashes in the name Smoochie. I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild liner. Put it right at the end where that black was. And then with that same black and same brush, I'm just going to go in and smash in that liquid liner and blend it together. Brush away anything I think I might have. Of any excess on me. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put my scare on. I'm just gonna go in with my NYX, it still has a thing on it, NYX lip liner. And I'm just gonna outline the lips. Okay. I just, nothing special, just an outline and a nude lip. And going in with my NYX clear butter gloss and that is it nothing special just a baked greasy donut let's look in the eyes Whew. simple neutral glam here and this is the look